Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I've kind of been doing some reviews and experimenting with night vision. Um, I've had some goggles, got to do ATN's Excite, really like that. One that I've been really interested in doing for a long time is thermal imaging. Special thanks to my friend Todd for loaning me this. This is actually his scope, his weapon, which you know, I, I didn't mess a whole lot with with actually shooting it and zeroing it. I was just more interested in the thermal capabilities. And I got to say that the technology is awesome. I mean, it, it is, um, it's like being in the video game, you know, a video game that we play where, you know, people glow and stuff. I also found um, that one of the things that I really like about this technology over just the standard night vision is the quick acquisition. Example, I was out kind of fiddling with it and I didn't even realize that there was deer on the hill. I didn't, didn't see them. And I don't know that I would have saw them with my standard night vision if I wasn't looking for them. But as soon as I put this up and looked across the dam, I see these white spots moving and running around and I realize, oh wow, you know, there's, there's five or six deer over there. That's one of the things that I really like about the thermal. Um, anyway, we'll take a look at this. This is the, the Thor, ATN Thor HD. And this is one of the, the older versions. Okay. This isn't the X series. Another thing that I really like about the thermal is you don't need an IR illuminator. So you don't have that extra appendage on the sides or the top. The other thing that I like about the thermal imaging is the image, the picture is the same day or night. So you can consider it a day night scope because it it is unaffected essentially by ambient light. This is like the name thermal. So it's looking for heat. That's one thing that I do like is I don't have to worry about switching between day, night. It's just, it's the same image and I'm looking for heat sources. Okay. We do have a little panel right here. We can unscrew this and then we have access for electronics, tapping in, putting in an SD card. And then here, this is where the batteries go. For me, anyway, with this particular scope, that's one of the I guess it's a, it's both a positive and a negative. The positive is is it takes AA batteries. So I can put four AA batteries in here. Why I really like that is everybody has four AA batteries. The downside to that is four AA batteries, at least in my opinion, don't they don't provide a great power source for a piece of electronics like this. Like my X site, I can charge that and I can get 18 hours continuous. In fact, I haven't recharged it in like six months and it's still almost fully charged. With the AA batteries, I do, or I have noticed, they drain quickly. Um, so that's kind of a downside, I think, for me. It's a plus and a minus. The X site, and I'm not, I, I haven't tried the X site in the thermal. I'm thinking that they have the same battery. You know, as far as night vision goes, it's actually pretty small, compact, and I think it's pretty light compared to the standard night vision. You know, most of the stuff that I looked at, it's pretty big, it's pretty bulky, and it's a lot heavier. Um, the other thing that I noticed with this that for me is a downside is, at least with this version, is the resolution, the definition. Reaching out to 200 yards, three, 400 yards is great for identification. I mean, I can see things uh, a lot faster and quicker with this than I can with standard night vision. But once I zoom in, I lose a lot of the detail. Example, we have a lot of cats and I shoot a lot of predators on our pond dam, which is about 200 yards away. With this, I have a real hard time identifying a cat-sized predator as far as specifics. You know, is it one of my kid's pets? Is it a coon? It is a feral cat. With my X site, I have enough 
detail and clarity that I actually can tell which of our cats is on the dam at 200. And at least so far with me, with this, I have not been able to. And as when I zoom in on the deer over there at 200, we lose a lot of clarity. I've kind of been adjusting it. It's got a lot of controls. This thing is packed, ballistic calculator. Um, so there is the possibility that I can get a lot clearer image. I have not been able to thus far um, for what I want at that distance. Okay, I'm going to quick show you some images that I got when I initially got it. Um, and I needed to make some adjustments on the scope. So here's some of the different video. I'm just going to go through and show you what we're looking at. This is 100 yards, and these are rabbits. They they pop out super fast. Um, it would be more difficult to find them with a standard night vision. You'd have to look for the reflection of the eyes or look for them specific. But with the thermal, anything hot just stands out. And then here is a comparison between the x 4K Pro and the trade-off is, is the detail and the clarity. And then here was some deer that I didn't even know were out there because that's 300 yards off and I don't know if I would have seen them if I wasn't looking for them, but with the thermal, they jumped right out and was able to see them. But then again, the trade-off as I zoom in, we lose some of the clarity and detail. Here was a stray cat that was out by the barn. Same thing. I don't know if I would have spotted him. And then this is kind of the image that most of us are more used to seeing when we're looking at thermal images, what they have in the book. You know, they're a little bit closer. Those are about 30 yards. And then here's my cats heading off into the trees. And again, it would be difficult to follow them because with the standard night vision, any kind of brush or grass... Um, that's ahead of it lights up and then you can't see it. And then this is the the typical video game image of thermal. You know I don't have any hair on my head so my head is lit up like a light bulb. And then here we're playing a little hide and seek. You know and this is where thermal really has its niche. Law enforcement and military the ability to uh, for quick target acquisition you know no matter how hard i'm i'm trying to stay behind cover my bald head just stands out and then i got a hold of atn and todd came over and got a lot lot better image quality Real quick, if you guys like this video, if you like the channel and you would like to help support Beyond Seclusion, it's super easy. All you have to do is go down in the descriptions. The biggest thing is, is our Amazon page. You, anybody else that shops to Amazon, each and every time you go to Amazon, if you just go through that link or save it to your bookmarks, Beyond Seclusion gets a commission. Um, and this helps keep products coming in and funds ammo. The other one is going to our webpage and using our company link, our business links, any that are affiliates, you know, PSA, Cabela's, Natchez, Primary Arms, any of those, then we get a commission when you go in through those links. The prices on all of these are the same. It costs you absolutely nothing other than one or two clicks and that helps support Beyond Seclusion. A lot of you are doing it Thank you very much for your support. So I did, did need to do some minor adjusting. I got a hold of Todd and I called and talked to my guy at ATN and changed one of the meter settings and messed a little bit with some of the settings. And I get a lot better picture here, as you can see. And I think on the other video, too, I think there was a higher humidity. Humidity and some weather can impact your clarity on the thermal. And here we're seeing a lot, lot more crisp, clear image. These are the cats down at 100 yards. Easily able to tell that they're, they're cats. Now, for me, the only problem is, is I can't tell which cats. And with the standard night vision, 
I am able to actually see the markings on the cat, the, the color patterns, their spots, stripes, whatever, and I can actually tell which of the kids' cats I'm looking at. And, and for me with night vision, that's imperative. We have chickens, and a lot of times I'm shooting at predators um, and feral cats that are eating chickens, and so I need to be able to discern. Now, if I'm out predator hunting for like coyote or something, this isn't going to be an issue. And then you move to something bigger like hogs, and thermal has a huge advantage. And then this is 200 yards. This is our deck down by the pond. And obviously, I got the controls a lot better on this one. But when you compare it to the x site the 4K Pro, you just get you get more crisp, clear detail, but things aren't going to just jump out at you. And you can see there the, the weeds were really standing in the way. And then here's just kind of a fun game of hide and seek showing the thermal capabilities. As I move into really thick brush here, and you can't necessarily tell with the thermal, there's absolutely no way that you would be able to see me with my 4K Pro the X site because it, it would be lit up on all the brush and vegetation and you would not see me. And that's what's really cool about the thermal, you know, and if I was out hog hunting in, you know, heavy brush country, this would be helpful. And then we're just doing kind of a fun uh, hide and seek here, follow, follow me on the four wheeler. You can see the muffler and the engine block are glowing just white hot. You know, and then this gets back into military and law enforcement use and why the thermal would be such a huge advantage. Now here I'm at 200 yards on my pond and you start to lose a little bit of the clarity and definition. Still, myself and, and especially the four-wheeler, the engine, and the muffler really stand out. Heat sources, and as we zoom in, you know, my head is a clear white dot that's that's sticking out and there behind the tree but then looking at the X site again comparing what we're losing in clarity and then just walking up on top of the dam and I just you know I grew up playing video games and it really it just it's like looking at a video game and here I'm going to take off I'm going to go up the hill to go to 300 and now we're getting out to 250 300 when we're not zoomed in we have good clarity it starts to get a little more difficult to spot me and then there's the the X site the 4k pro and again at 300 I can still read my IDPA there, the CMP target. So what's my final take on, on the Thor, the ATN thermal imaging? Cutting edge technology, it's super cool. It is a lot more expensive than standard night vision. Um, for me, I think it's more of a specific niche, quick target acquisition you know military and law enforcement i definitely see uh, that this hands down is the best option as you saw as you saw in my video for me personally for distance and needing to identify something as small as a cat very specifically this particular one wasn't doing it for me i need better clarity and i'm not sure if the newer versions provide that or not awesome it's cool if you get one of these i think you'll like it just kind of know what you're looking at as far as the difference between them and then the price tag so anyway it was fun i finally got my hands on one hopefully you found this helpful be sure to like comment and sub until next time happy shooting